mortals. Hermes, swift-footed messenger of the gods at your service. Lend an ear, for I shall relate the problem and the solution for fixing results with degraded quality when using AI image editing models. When one attempts to improve an image with these artificial intelligences, these digital sprites, the result often falls short of the original's splendor. It's a lamentable truth. The reason? These sprites, in their eagerness, shrink the image, scale it down like a miser counting his coins, and in doing so, introduce a fog, a blurring of the lines, a loss of pristine clarity. Or, occasionally, depending on the original dimensions, scale the image up, causing, however, problems of its own. Subtle shifts occur, a tilting of the gaze, a whisper of altered hue, a delicate imbalance in the shades. It's as if the image itself sighs with discontent. But fear not. There is a solution, a clever trick, a touch of divine intervention, if you will. Edit only a portion of the image, a fragment, using a technique called inpainting. Allow me to demonstrate, using this Quinn Image Edit 2509, a name as cumbersome as a cyclops's boot. First, let us consider the standard method. Watch closely as I instruct this sprite to change a maiden's hair to the color of spun gold. Very acceptable. However, note how the perspective has shifted, a subtle imbalance. Not ideal, not harmonious. Now, let us repeat the task, but with in-painting. Observe. We first present the sprite with a mask, a boundary, a defined space to work within. Let it run. Ah, superb! Note how only the hair has been transformed. The rest of the image remains untouched, as pristine as a nymph's reflection. Now, let us begin anew with a fresh canvas. This time, we shall engage in a more ambitious transformation. Rather than merely altering an existing feature, we shall replace it entirely. Prepare yourselves, for we shall transmute a mortal man's head into the noble countenance of a llama. Let's begin. Hmm, not too bad. However, Observe the severe blurring and degradation. A truly disheartening spectacle, wouldn't you agree? It's as if the image has been viewed through a veil of mist. A cautionary tale, my friends, of the perils of unchecked scaling. This sprite, in its eagerness, insists upon shrinking the image during processing. A lamentable habit, I assure you. As a consequence, visual quality is lost, the details fade, and the image suffers a distressing decline. Now let us repeat, with in-painting, first the mask, defining the space for our new friend. Let it run. Excellent. No blurring, no degradation. The image remains unchanged, save for the addition of the llama head. This, my friends, is the power of in-painting. However, heed my warning. The prompt must be precise. Tell the sprite exactly what you desire. In a previous attempt, with a less exacting prompt, the llama's ear was... clipped. An artistic catastrophe. Ensure there is ample space within the mask for the sprite to work its magic. And now, for the grand culmination of our demonstration. Behold, another delightful technique for conjuring images from the digital ether. By utilizing the art of in-painting, we can seamlessly integrate content from another image into our composition. I shall have the sprite place a hat upon the llama's head, 
a simple prompt will suffice. Let it begin. Pretty good. The hat has, indeed, landed upon the llama's head. Not perfect, perhaps, but with adjustments to the mask. And a more nuanced prompt, I am confident perfection could be achieved. But how does this in-painting preserve quality, you ask? Ah, it's quite simple, really. The sprite works only on the cropped image, the area defined by the mask. Once the sprite is finished, the cropped image is stitched back onto the original, creating the final result. This is why the result retains the quality and dimensions of the original. Well, I must be off. Duties call, messages await. I trust you have found this demonstration valuable. Farewell, and may your images always be crisp, clear, and pleasing to the eye. And remember, a well-crafted image, like a well-told story, is a gift to be cherished.